Okay, I'm just going to show you a short demonstration on how to blend uh, colored pencils. And this is, there's lots of techniques for blending colored pencils. In this case, I'm just going to um, show you how you do it optically just by gently layering one layer um, of color into another to get a gradated um, uh, blend. This is the smooth side of Bristol paper, 96 pounds. And in this case, I'm just going to use five colors that I chose somewhat at random. Um, we have violet blue, mulberry, oops, switch those, pink, pale vermilion, and crimson lake. And I'm just going to fill in this shape uh, from in the order of those colors from uh, cool to warm. And you can do this with any amount of colors, um, but just for demonstration's sake, we'll use these five. So I'm going to start, now let's start with our warm color. We'll start with the Crimson Lake. I'm just going to stop. start at the top corner. And I'm just applying, for right now, very light pressure. And I'm just filling in by using uh, just little circles. And you want to be careful of not going over too much your previous uh, little path across, because you'll end up with uh, stripes. And that's, uh, that tends to happen more typically with a, a smoother surface. You see some of those uneven patches a little bit more clearly. And you can go over again just to kind of smooth out and fill in a little bit more. This time you go in a little bit larger circles just to even everything out. Now, where we have this line, I'm actually, because this is going to blend into the orange, so I'm going to use even lighter pressure. Just gradually fade it out. And I go back up to where those two sections meet and do a mid mid range amount of pressure. And then just continue down to get it to fade into as light as you can. I'm going to set down the Crimson Lake. I'm going to pick up my Pale Vermilion. And I'm going to start right around here. I'm going to start where I want the most true orange color. I don't want to start with big circles like that. I go back to your little circles. Be careful not to overlap too much. make sure I have enough room for all five colors, but they don't have to be taking up equal amounts. Now again, I'm, I'm going to kind of go over the whole area to kind of smooth out any uneven patches. I'm going to take this up into the red. Light pressure here. 
where they where the two colors meet. And blend it into the red. This part can be a little more dense. You basically want to take that second color up higher than where you faded out that first color. So you have a seamless transition. Okay. Now let's bring this down very lightly. By the way, these are uh, Prismacolor pencils, wax-based. And keep them very sharp. I tend to um, just sharpen them by hand. I don't like electric sharpeners for Prismacolors because it tends, in my experience, to make them break more easily. I'm just going up and trying to make the transition from um, heavy application to light uh, more gradual. Okay, now let's take our pink. And again, I'm going to start where I want it to be the pinkest. I made too much of an overlap right there, so it created a line. But we can fix that. If you use a heavier toothed, pa toothed paper, you won't see those. Uh, overlaps as much, but it does give a different look to the piece. And if you wanted to burnish, which is um, another technique of blending, which I'll show you once this is through, then for burnishing, uh, a smoother paper tends to work best for a a uh, very smooth effect. And down here we're just lightly phasing it out. Want to uneven or make even some of those Does that look like there's too much overlap? And you can see I'm even kind of moving my brush in different directions really lightly, which again works better on smoother paper. I'm just going to blend the pink into that orange. for now. Let's lay down our mulberry. 
such a pretty color. Blend it into the pink. Now what if you wanted to blend green directly into orange? Or something where you have two other opposite colors because where they meet might not have such a pretty color. Well, I would opt to at least have a neutral in between them, like a gray or uh, a beige or tan, or use a yellow to visually separate them a bit without uh, making a muddy color. and. Uh, should put that down for another tutorial. <laughs> that might be helpful to show you rather than just explain it. And here's my violet blue. Let me start at the bottom with this one. It's a nice intense color. Since it is such an intense blue, I'm going to be careful about how I blend it into the purple. Again, you're just you're lightening your pressure as you go up. That makes such a really pretty transition. Intensify the blue down here. I'm going to go back to my purple, my mulberry, and I'm going to bring that down over the blue a bit. I'm going to zoom out and show you what we have so far. So that's looking pretty pretty smooth. I could probably work on this a little bit, the red into the orange. Um, but for a first pass, I like that. Now you could go in and you could, uh, this is where you could burnish, um, which again I'll show you another time. Um, but for me, I just want to go in and smooth these transitions and punch up the intensity of each color a little bit. So I'm going to go to my orange and work on that transition here. This time I'm adding a little bit more pressure and my strokes are a little broader.
careful as I go into the pink. I don't want to overpower the pink too much. You can see I'm just kind of jumping around a little bit, going where it needs to go. Back to the red. So I'm almost burnishing, but not quite. Burnishing would be applying the heaviest pressure possible and getting rid of all the white space of the paper. It's just one of many colored pencil techniques. And I went outside the line. Gosh darn it. It's all right. Back to orange a little bit. So you can just, you can go over this quite a bit, even though it's not very toothy paper. my pink. Punch that up a little. Right now I'm just making large strokes to even out some of these uh, overlapping lines. A little smoother into that orange. really like where it goes into that purple almost looks like, like an Easter egg or something. I don't know why. <laughs> it's the colors. I think the texture. Okay, purple. I want to be careful with the purple here because it is a darker color. I don't want it to overpower the pink. is how you blend colored pencils with, uh, with layering.